In the span of two weeks in October, I moved and got married. To say that life has been hectic is an understatement, and I am so ready for a gentle reset. So today, I'll be pulling in seven practices to renew my space, mind, body, and spirit. And along the way, I'll be sharing some mindset reflections centered around self-compassion. When I need a deep reset, I will sleep in for as long as I need. I've heard so much harsh dialogue online around sleeping in, how it's a wasted morning or the day is half over. I think that language is unhelpful. I don't need to start the day anxious and hurried. A slow morning is such a luxury. Listening to your body is accepting deep rest when you need it. So I remind myself that whatever time I wake up is right. And now I have a chance to move forward into the day well rested. I've been starting my day off with green juice paired with this pumpkin, apple, chia pudding that I am obsessed with. I've been eating out a lot recently, so it feels really refreshing to reach for something cold and clean in the morning. I meal prep this ahead of time and I top it off with some peanut butter, sliced almonds, and fresh fruit. I used to have a hard time getting myself to clean. It just felt like another chore to do. But I started noticing how much better I feel when I have an uncluttered, neutral environment. I feel like I can breathe and fully relax. So taking care of my space is self-care. If things have piled up, I try to get away from an all or nothing mentality. The goal isn't to do everything, just to chip away at whatever feels doable in that moment. As I was cleaning, I thought back to the last cleaning I did at the old apartment, just before moving out, and then coming over to the empty townhouse. When we first moved in, there were boxes everywhere for a while, and it's been this very slow, gradual process of unpacking and organizing. I know the space will continue to evolve over the next year, and I'm looking forward to that. If I haven't been doing any formal exercise for a while, I try to gently get back into movement. I did some yin yoga the night before, so today I felt like walking for 15 minutes. The weekend before this, I went up to the mountains for a few days. I walked around a lot and did this gentle hike one day. Afterwards, I just felt so great and motivated to walk more and focus on functional strength and movement. At the end of the day, I just want to find joy and excitement in movement. A hot shower is pure bliss. And it's one of the most powerful reset methods I regularly utilize. I always feel so rejuvenated afterwards. Journaling is a core piece of any reset day for me. I made an entire video on journaling detailing the clarity I get from this practice and my personal approach. This is my chance to sort through the backlog of thoughts and emotions that have built up, and after, I feel more grounded and clear. So today, I was reflecting on nature's role in helping us slow down which is crucial for resetting our mental and physical states. 
I've been actively making time to be outside more. And on this most recent trip up to the mountains, I realized something. On day one, I landed in an environment with a slower pace of life. There was more quiet, more in-between times where nothing major was happening. And I could sense this slight mismatch with my heightened energy levels and hyperactivity. It takes some time to slow down and sink into the silence. But over the next couple of days, I realized I was being absorbed into the slower pace of existence. I was craving slower activities and leaning into the setting. Even the thought of opening my laptop and idly browsing and scrolling sounded too overstimulating. So I spent a good amount of time just walking around and reading The Creative Act by Rick Rubin. I want to continue prioritizing getting outside, even if it's just a quick walk to the local park. After journaling, I spent 10 minutes checking in with my monthly habit tracker. It helps me identify and prioritize what matters most to me, and it has unexpectedly become a trusty tool for positive reinforcement. It visually lays out all of the ways I've been supporting myself, highlighting the daily wins. The key for me was baby steps, starting with very few habits and easily achievable goals, like completing an activity two to four times over the span of a month. And then I built up from that manageable baseline. I decided to sit in open awareness for 10 minutes. This isn't a formal one hour meditation or anything, just settling into the present and noting anything that arises. And then I just relaxed for a few hours. No matter how I've been eating, today is a new day and a chance to eat a nourishing meal. I decided to make some veggie burgers for dinner. These are a staple in the weekly rotation. They're quick, healthy, and yield leftovers. What's nice is that a lot of the steps run in parallel, so this meal is ready in about 15 to 20 minutes. So as the sprouted grain buns are getting toasted, the patties are cooking in parallel. I add vegan chipotle mayo and a garlic spread, spinach or a super green blend, and finally top everything off with the onion and pepper mix plus avocado. I haven't painted or made any art since I moved in. So I brewed some hot hibiscus tea, put on a podcast with Brene Brown, and picked up a digital painting I started a while ago. If I'm tired in the evening, I will respect that and not push myself. But I also have to identify if there's some art block or resistance at play. Resistance will desperately try to convince me it's too late in the day to get started. It's not the perfect time or place for the task at hand. But every time I show up and engage with my art, I challenge that narrative. Thanks for joining me on this reset day, and I'll see you next time.